What's up, TJ? Got it's your girl, Tim and Jay, and I'm back again with another video. Okay, don't mind me. So, I got my work clothes on. Well, my work shirt on. But this is a different type of video. I say it's more like a vlog type, but yes. So, today we have this little gamey. Oh, yeah, we got Jay in the cut today. Yeah, you know, we got Jay, Jay, Jay. Jay. We got this game called unsolved case files but say we found it at walmart and it was uh 26 or whatever i had already opened it up but i ain't opened it all the way but say it looks like this and um yeah i had opened this part up and the only thing i did was pull it out and i was like man this would make a good youtube video like look, look at this packaging then they come with these three envelopes. I'm about to say they're all different. So yeah. Um, if we have new clothes on, just know that um probably me got sleepy <laughs> and me brain hurt, but yeah, and he gotta get his hair cut at eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna turn this. Uh, I don't think we need nothing from right here though. But um, just go with some basics. I bet I'm trying not to let the light hit because y'all, it's glaring. I say you can read it. If I said just pause it, then read it. Blah blah blah. But okay, we gonna read it. Pretty much, just the back. Um, okay, let's open up this. We gonna hold these. Right there. Unsolved. This is so fucking adorable. And then this would this say. Um, this is so cute. Say like evidence. This is cute as crap. Contains photo grass for royal investigation. Not being. So yeah, we gotta read the instructions to this. <laughs> Her name is Haven. Hey, Haven. Um. Oh shit. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is so oh, shit. You know what? Okay, y'all. We got this. We got. Okay. Fuck y'all. We need to use it. Do not open after. I mean, until after completing our drift before. What the fuck is our drift before? Yeah, I don't even know what the hell is it. Y'all, this game is hard. It ain't even a game. Objective one. Find the clues and evidence in the case file to solve three objectives that led you to convince the killer. Um. So basically, we found out which one of them killed her. Find the clues. We gotta read, read, y'all. Read is not about the mental. The clues. Jesus, this is hard. This is why I ain't signed up, you know, damn police. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. In high school, they used to be like, what you wanna be? I remember them dudes. I wanna be a police officer. How? You wanna do all this shit here? Local child psychiatrist murdered. So you a psychiatrist, and you was getting married to Christian. Okay. Okay. What is that? Let's say, yeah, I can read it too. You don't know how to read cursive. Them just signatures. Don't stress yourself. Um, Riverdale. Well, yeah, I will put Riverdale. Hmm. Found in William McBride's hand in Grant Park. William, who's William? I'm not reading this wrong. You know, damn William. Oh, Bones. Bones the black nigga. I mean, oh, I gotta stop. YouTube. Sorry. Bones the dude. Mm hmm. Can't 
Damn. This is bones. Blah, 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 blah. That ain't useful. Okay, what the fuck happened to you? Victim appears to be average 28 years old. Woman in good health. Blunt force trauma to right eye and anterior scalp. So she was shot in the head. Extensive skull fracture and severe hemorrhaging over the right eye socket. Cause of death. Blunt force trauma of the head. Victim died within moments of trauma. So she was beat. They hit her. They had to hit her with something. Yeah. Don't ever let me be with y'all person in case who died. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You would not get nowhere with my ass. Okay. Involved in. Okay. okay. No. Ooh, that's good. You. Ooh, hold on. Wait. Because we don't know what the hell is in goddamn search. Hey, flip the camera. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. Okay, we're going to pull it up. Good. Okay, yeah, we got pulled up. Okay, choose your case below. Damn, it was more cases. But the only case they had at Walmart was this girl. They had, we about the second to last one. Shit, y'all. If y'all want to see us do the next one, because this video going to be long. Y'all want to see us do these other people? Y'all got to run this up. Doing Harmony, um, oh, so it's ass different crossed. versions to this game. Jesus. Everybody has what documents are missing? Hold on. I don't even know what that junk is at. Um. Okay, let me click these real quick. Okay, yeah, I ain't feel like clicking this one by one, so you know what I'm saying? What we finna do? We finna jump in the bitch up. Just open it. The fuck? This was all that was in here. Who is this? Oh. Oh wait. Come on, man. Make bride cleared of all charges. Oops. In 1998. That's the year I was born. 1980 Rudeo. What is this? Hint, you're looking for an obvious and mistakable lie in the suspect alibi. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay, we're going somewhere. This what it say. I just opened up the thing. This boy came back. It's a one of the five suspects in the case has lied about his alibi. Your job is to find the proof. When you can prove a suspect's major lie about his alibi, visit the page. Hmm. Okay, so let's figure out who won in their alibis. Okay. So, you can't put this on YouTube. Yeah, he's drinking juice. Adult juice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, we can figure out who lied. Oh, baby. Why we finally In an alibi. Don't own a car. You don't own a car. How the fuck you don't own a car? And she... You found you, they found her. What well, little picture? They found her in your arms, playboy. And you don't own a car. How you get there? Yeah, yeah, we got to figure Uber, this out. Bus, she was at Rambo's bar and went to Tully's and then went to Grant's Park and was found dead in your arms. He, she was found dead at the park. He said, This is his alibi. Wait, I lied. I'm in this alibi. Yeah, people who got arrested for real and was caught up in some shit. Y'all know how to read this. 
Fuck. This the real statement statement. Oh, this, this, oh, yeah, this, this, that proof, proof right now. This the statement, the script, transcript. And this with narrator. Okay. This boy said, I was at Rambo's bar right after 9 p.m. From there, I went to Grant's Park to get some rest and fell asleep you homeless the next thing i remember is being surrounded by 20 officers shining lights in my eyes shining lights in my eyes someone put a ring in my hand while i was sleeping or one of the police put it on me he didn't do it mm -mm. he homeless he homeless he too he was at, oh, shit, wave, you homeless. How in the hell you got money for burn your ass back here, boy? Okay, let's go back. You want to know how he lied? They said he, she was found in his arms. Yeah, he said he went to the bar. And then went right? to the park. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he just surrounded with cops. He went to the park to get some rest and fell asleep. Okay, you 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 on suspect's list still. You, you sit right here. You, you sit right there. Yeah, he he on the list still. Okay, I'm trying to take out the paper clips off so y'all. They gave us paper clips. Andy, on the other hand, Andy has, I think this was, it's a proved bones is innocent. Okay, well, I just read his thing. Okay, now we get to start over and pretty much say why he's innocent. I, I say he's innocent because this this man come on now. I don't think we plan this right. No, that's what it say. It's an objective one. Prove Bones is innocent. When you know why Bones is innocent, visit the web page to prove it. We finna go to the web page. Yeah, we start playing a little wrong while I start doing it. He ain't trying to help anyway, so it don't matter. But well, um you supposed to figure it out on your own. They telling us to do this. This how you do it. You just read it. It said, when you figure out why Bones is innocent, go to the web page to see if you correct. <laughs> no, it say when you know why Bones is innocent, visit the web page to prove it. To prove your objection. Meaning, to see are you correct. Not retarded. I don't know who the hell is he yelling at. I think he know that thing. Uh, it's take up to the website though. And then I it's post been after after objective it's one. After That's objective one. This <laughs> nigga. After objective one is complete, you open this. I already opened this. You didn't do objective one. Can you prove Bones is innocent? Do you know how to prove Bones is not guilty? Prove it below to move on to the next case. What two documents prove Bones did not kill Harmony? You don't know because you you were supposed to find he, out. And then he check never the went. Look at the map. He never went to Tully's. So what is it? What is it? Tully's was the bar. He did go to the bar. He went to Rambo's bar. I don't know what the fuck Tully's is. Oh, because of the map of Riverdale. Mm. See, this is why we supposed to be quick with evidence we missing. They supposed to be emailing me some more, but yeah, I don't. I it was making me click it one by one. Who wanted to sit here and click that much stuff one by one? We would have been all day clicking it. So, I'm going to say the map of Riverdale. And. Is that about? Mm, where the hell is it? I got to find it. I'm trying to find it. Okay, y'all. We figured out this. Oh, Jesus. See, that's why I said y'all might catch us in some more clothes and we're going to finish it later. But 
we figured out that the map of Riverdale is right. And because I had, I just read through literally all this. All they was basically saying was like how she was as a person. And she had, okay, they said she was in the arts. No, they went to go get the wedding gifts out the trunk, her and her husband. And it was an altercation in the parking lot. And they found her basically looking like this. The head trauma right out. Okay, so this got to be right. The article, because the hint told us to read this article. And another hint said, we're not looking for a small detail. A small detail is right here. This is a big detail the title, so this got to be it. We're going we're gonna to click here. What? You did it. <laughs> you proved Bones is innocent. Great word. You can now open the envelope mark. Bonus envelope A. She already did that. Okay. Yeah, see, it showed it right here. Temporary road closure. So what was the answer? The answer was this. I Okay. He get knocked out. He he innocent. He's innocent. So he put him. Because his alimony said he went to Rambo's bar and went to the park. She was found in Tully's. Yeah. So the map saw that. What proved him innocent is this article and the map. This what proved Bones is innocent, y'all. This and this. So if you ain't never played this game, I suggest you don't watch this video no more. Because we just saw part one. Okay, now this one I'm supposed to open this. But I'm hard-headed and I like to open shit. He going in here. He innocent. He. You done for. He is. Elsa Dunn. I don't want to see his face no more. Delete bones out of my head. He homeless anyways. I'm just playing. Yeah, I don't know the man homeless. That ain't funny. Okay, but it <laughs> say you found the article about Dan, about Dale River Bride being closed from 845 to 945. According to the map. Bones couldn't have gotten across the river to Tully's and back to Grant Park in time. True. True. Okay, now I say Craig the false alibi. Somebody got a false alibi. Now we gotta sit here and read him, 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 him and him. So you get two, I get two. I choose this one and I want I want him. Figure out which one of those sound fake and don't figure out which one of mine sound fake. Don't don't make so they pay for it though. No. Yeah, I actually see him doing something. Now. Who is the liar? Who who you think is the liar? The husband. Okay. He too descriptive. He he said she was fifty feet away from the door. Now uh, we gotta go to this website. But yeah, he She talked he talks about the friend. And he went home. Yeah. Why did he go home to get his to get the presents? But who leave their wife in a parking lot now? Yeah. You, okay. You just makes sense. Yeah. Unsolved case files. Dot com. And the guy slash harm. The guy no who said I never left my apartment. Two. Um. Oh. Okay. He seen, yeah, he's suspect number two. He said, I was home the whole time. I got home from work around nine and stayed in my apartment all night. He put his landlord, he don't even know the number, he put the address. <laughs> I only know how he is a to this case. Okay. Which suspect is lying about the alibi? Do you know which suspect is lying about the alibi? Prove it below. Da, 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 da. What two documents? Okay, yeah, we, the two things we chose to show that his, okay, I believe he was lying about his little thing because, his alibi, because she was found here, well, found here, but died there, whatever. His apartment right there, it don't take long. They christened them house right there. That, that's further. But I'm gonna put the map of Riverdale in that, and I'm probably wrong. 
Sorry, neither of those were. Oh, shit. Yeah, we finally went through the pictures. Oh, the pictures was in here. I ain't opened them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I even tried to cheat. I did cheat. But nah, real talk, I was reading this man foul. And little Andy is fake. He was lying about the alibi. I can put this right here. But yeah, it was him. Lying about the alibi. Where that paper clips are? I don't know. You do that, uh, Yeah, little old Andy. I'm trying to fix this stuff together. <clears throat> but it's Andy's personal interest sheet and this photo of the front of the restaurant. That's that food car right here, y'all. Because he asked old buddy to go buy a, a what it was. He asked him to do something. A ranch or something. But yeah, basically it's right here. And it says it right here. Wait, damn. I lost the paper. This is foul, though. Mm. Yeah, right here. That's why SD we have a magnifying glass. Motherfucker, we got that shit. Yeah, this is tag. Open up B. Shit, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, and is a liar. Now I say open up B. This is B right here. A letter I don't want to read. But it talked about how he was part of the team. I guess with her. I guess it's Harmony right there. And it might be him. But it might be him. I don't fucking know. Now it says, don't mind my toes, y'all. I gotta go get them things later. Now it say, um, convict the killer. One of the suspects lied about something that seriously impact, I mean, hint. The information does not prove he is the killer, but it's very suspicious and will help the prosecution secure a conviction. I better go to. I never understood why. Okay, backspace three. Go. Now we gotta see. Can you convict the real killer? Which suspect has a hidden piece of evidence implementing him in the murder of Harmony Accra? Let me read this lovely letter. This lovely letter. Okay, y'all. Uh, let me get back to y'all. Y'all, we did this one, the evidence this time for what thing we was on? B, I think. B, yeah, what B card? Y'all had some shit on his bed. Yeah, this boy done for. B, I think. No. B. Um, yeah, he, he lied about him being right-handed. He left-handed. This little nigga, he left-handed because they said a left person had to hit him. Left-handed person. Yeah, boom. So his photo, his, Andy's photo, his suspect photo, and the coroner's report is the answer to that one. So Andy killed him. Congratulations, you're breaking through. This case just made the 10 o'clock news. Maybe I'm going to take a look at that one. Yeah, and then on the picture, on the picture, it show him right there. 
Lily for it says left handed. If I'm this way, this is right hand. Don't invest y'all know how baseball works shit. Fuck that. Now we gotta open up envelope C. Okay, put this back. Put this where you go. You go back and what you call You going back in here. Okay, hold on y'all. Okay, yeah, we on we on to the next one. They say, "Congratulations, detective! Your case number, blah blah blah." <sighs> this is a volunteer statement. The whole time this fucking answer was in sick. That nigga. I have been duly warned by. Mm. The nigga said, hi, my name is Andy Allen, and I killed Harmon Ash Girl on May 18th. I mean, May 8th, 1998. It was a crime of passion and not <laughs> premeditated. Okay, Andy killed her. If y'all, yeah, he enjoyed it. If y'all get this one, he killed her. Yeah. It's motherfucking, um, what's, what's this? What is this? Come on now. Load up. She better cut the volume up. Come on now. In a shot. Oh, shit. Turn of events today. 48-year-old Riverdale man, Andy Allen, has confessed to a murder that happened over two decades ago. Jesus. According to authorities... <sighs> okay, that was the end. I pretty much did it by myself, but he said he ain't got drunk on the low low. He only looked at two people catching him and didn't find absolutely shit. He swear but now Christian did it. Um Christian ended up going out with Jenny. And he the best friend, uh. Jenny is the best friend. <laughs> this is Jenny. Jenny, if you're here in real life. You're so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you're here in real life. <laughs> You, this is your best friend who got killed and then you saw by this man and you end up dating him. You two together like them two are together now because she's dead because he sat there and watched her. And guess what? In the whole thing, the black man got framed. And the black man did. Oh, God. And this this is mugshot, y'all. This is his mugshot. The black man did time in prison. If y'all want to see this man. letter, yeah, I'm going to just. <laughs> My <life's mellow>. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so racist. I didn't feel the like. Black man for what the white man did. That boy said after 9 30 p.m., Christian and Harmony came out of the back door and told us together they were arguing and I hid behind another vehicle since I wanted to talk to Harmony alone. Christian real aim screaming in Harmony's face. I was about to fight him when Christian got into the car and peeled out the parking lot. I thought it was a perfect opportunity to tell Harmony how I felt. I walked up to her and with every ounce of courage I Muster, I shared my true feelings. It took me a minute or two, but I told her I had a fallen in love with her. Uh, at six years old, playing t ball. I wish. Oh. Uh, so what he day? had a thing for all the chicks. This day, t ball picture. Um, she was 28. He was, how old he is? He was. 28. Yeah, they were the same age. Oh. Yeah, they grew up together, they said. Um, he was the stalker. And my feelings had only grown stronger, blah, blah, blah. How many reaction was not what I anticipated. All those times I ran through the scenario in my mind, she said something like, oh, Andy, you poor thing. And I put her hand on my shoulder. But I took a step back. Wait, so she kept offending her pity and concern of for my feelings like I was one of her patients 
And I just couldn't take it. I kept asking her to leave me alone. And she kept reaching out her hand. I kept backing away. She kept moving toward me. And I was just so crushed and embarrassed and confused and rushed out my feelings along with her pity caused me to snap. The boss, I just wanted to give her some space and leave me alone, but I lost control and punched her in the face really hard with my left hand. The end. Who's on me? I'm never doing it on one of these again. Okay. So, never. Uh, never. So, y'all yeah, remember the stalker in the beginning? He was the stalker. He didn't really stalk her. They grew up together. She knew. He yeah, just, but she had been, a stalker for a very long time. The stalker said that they, they worked together or something. Like, it was two people that worked with her. But now, um, anyways, this boy, I, I know this video is long. I'm going to try to cut, cut, cut some dead moments, but I'm done. It's 11.45. We started this game like an hour ago. Yeah, but I'm tired, y'all, so. Peace. Thank you.